Welcome to Duff TV, ladies and gentlemen. It is STJFL under 10 action here live from Clarence High School. We've got Clarence Red and Clarence Blue in the under 10s. This is a strapping lad. He's got that big left foot about him. One of the probably longer kicks on the field. Oh. And my mate, uh, oh, I nearly called him Scotty McCullum. Of course, it's not young Q. Yep. He's having a day out off the half back line here. The delivery just let him down a little bit because it went straight to an opponent. I think that's Aura again. Is it? There's your man There's in the, the headband. Band. Yep. Quickly picked up by oh. Dixon, a little one-two, and then a left footer drilled it forward, but unfortunately went straight into Cook's arms. He's got some class, young Dixon, hasn't he? He does. Strapping. Callum. On the right. <laughs> With that unique kicking style. He looks up. <laughs> he just <laughs> doesn't need it's to look right. down. No. Richardson, I, read you, I bet you he's practiced a lot, though, Duff. <laughs> these boys, as he said before, sleep oh, with their footies. The hallways at these mum and dad's houses would just... It'd just be footy marks on the walls everywhere. Richardson Ooh, looks could be dangerous. Cross, yep, towards Hurd. It bounced over Hurd's head. And there he is again, Sam Orr, going forward. Got his kick just because Hurd tackled. Oh, and that's lovely. a strong grab down there to Isaac Dixon. He fancies himself from this distance. This my Chiefs. Oh, it was a one or the other, wasn't it? But it landed in the arms of Dixon. Dixon goes long, doesn't have the oh. journey. Going to pay that, mate. Yeah, I'd pay that too. Yep. Kept his eye on it, the little fella. Yeah, Tommy Gavin. Another big name in football. Well, yeah, it is. Won't miss that. Doesn't. And he drills it. Tom Gavin gets his first in the second quarter. And the margin's out to six points. Two zip 12 to one zip six. And wasn't it just a beautiful kick here by Isaac Dixon? Just put it up. Sure, that's another instruction from these coaches, not to just blast away. Try and kick it to the advantage of your forward tubes. And young Gapen went back, took a nice mark, and it was a good goal. And the free kick will go to Harry Land. Now, this is young Becker, is it? Oh, yes, yes. Harry Land, Harrison Land, you're quite right. He's got Hodge out wide if he wants him. Looks oh, in that direction. Pass that was by clever. Landy. And, and again, team orientated footy tubes. As the game comes to an end, you'll be a bit too far out to kick this, I think. Well, we'll have a it's look. It's been a wonderful match here. Eight points will be the, the score here to the red side. Going to Torp? No, he can't possibly make it. Oh, oh no. He's With a ripper, kicks his second right on the final siren, and the boys love it. They all come out after the siren as if it was the one that put him across the line. He loves it. Look at him. Well done, Hodge. So goal kick is for the red side who run out victors by 14 points here. Hodge with two, Gapen with two, and singles to Walters, Donahue, and Leuma. And for the Blues, it was Hayward, Mapley, Woodbury, Richmond, and Hedge. An entertaining game of footy here, Duff. It was this young little, little Landy here. Got the ball. Beautiful pass there. Again, team orientated footy. That's what we like to see, boys. Bring your teammates that are in a in a better position into the into the game or into the contest. And then he proved me wrong here. I just thought he was too far out it was Hodgie. And here he goes. Puts it onto the boot. Beautiful goal. Yeah, magnificent. Clarence what a way to the boys. The match. Yeah, it was. All right, we'll leave it there, folks. Boys, enjoy your pies. My name's Tubes Taylor. You've been watching Duff TV, of course. Thanks to our sponsors, the Pharmacy Guild of Australia and A Main Contracting Services. Until next time, we'll see you here on Duff TV. Here they come, Tubes.